I think that since, well, there are a number of reasons for this. ADS CFT is vital to winning the war. Yeah. It's, I mean, the huge outgrowth of the holographic principle that you and Hof developed, and it's just the most cited paper, I think, of all time now yeah. in, in high energy yeah. particle physics. I think, so. I think it might be worth talking a little bit more about it. I mean, you use some words yeah. like duality. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure people know what that means. Just it just means equivalence between two descriptions of the same thing. So, so what is the duality all at right, the heart well, of ADS-CFT? The case, first take the case of the hologram. There's a description of the hologram in terms of what's going on on the film. And if you were to look through a microscope at the film surrounding the hologram, what you would see is all of a bunch of little tiny scratches and random uh, looking, nothing that looks anything like the, uh, the thing that it's supposed to be encoding. What does it look like? It just looks like a, a bunch of random scratches, which are not truly random little marks on the film. Um, on the other hand, it has exactly the same information as the three-dimensional thing that it was uh, that it was created from. This pretty girl, in the case of the hologram that I was watching, has ex uh, it has exactly the same information, at least of her, of her surface, if not her interior. Um, so that's a duality, duality between two descriptions. One description says ears, nose, hair, eyeballs. Uh, and uh, a certain shape, and the other's description says tiny, tiny scratches on a piece of photographic film. If you knew how to analyze those scratches the right way, how to do the right kinds of Fourier transforms and so forth, in principle, you could take those tiny scratches and reconstruct what they were uh, pictures of, what they were uh, holograms of the full three-dimensional and everything else, but it would be very hard. It would be very, very hard and complex to do that reconstruction. So we call those dual descriptions, D-U-A-L, not D-O-O-L, dual descriptions of the same thing. One, in terms of properties of the, of the, uh, of the film. The other, in terms of the obvious properties of the object, which it's there to encode. The same thing is true in the ADS-CFT idea. The, whatever ADS is, it's a space with a boundary. It's a space that has a boundary um, uh, surrounding it. And the duality is a duality between a theory that lives on this boundary. It's a quantum field theory that lives on the boundary just like the uh, the information on the hologram lives on the on the um, on the surface on the film, and what takes place in the bulk or the interior of the um, of the antidecitus space, which is more like what's taking place inside the hologram in the, in the three dimensional reality of the hologram. So the duality is two different descriptions of the same thing. One, in terms of what's going on in the interior. For that, you use gravity, you use general relativity, you use um, black hole physics in the three-dimensional reality inside. And the other description is in terms of this very random kind of quantum field theory description involving lots of fluctuation and lots of uh, stuff that you would not easily recognize what it's encoding, but which does encode exactly the same thing. But that's what duality means. It means two different descriptions which seem very different from each other, but of, of in what is in principle the same thing. Okay, just to summarize it, and then I think we'll pretty much be done with the black hole war. Well, so the idea, we're, this... We're going to be done with me soon. Yeah, so this the ADS-CFT correspondence, on the one hand, you have, I think it's type 2B string theory <laughs> uh, describing the bulk, and then you've got a conformal field theory on the boundary of the anti-desitter space in this string theoretic description. Okay, that's just that's just highly formalized language for what I said. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I just want to make sure that I have it clear. In the bulk, you have these black holes. They accrete and they evaporate. And because it is all captured by this equivalence 
on the boundary and no information is lost because it's quantum field theoretical, right. that's how you win the black hole that's war. That's how the black hole war was ultimately won. Okay, perfect. And then uh, the final question on that is, is, the, is this pretty much settled in the physics community now? Yeah, I think so. Look, I tend to interact with a group of people who share my own views. Half of them are my students, incidentally. Uh, I, I tend to interact with them. How many people are there out there? I think some of the older relativists may still be skeptical, people like Bill Unruh, uh, but I may be wrong about that now. I haven't seen Bill for many, many years. Bill Unruh was one of the pioneers in Hawking radiation physics. Um, he was very, very skeptical about all of this. Another was, another was Bob Wald, who was one of the true great relativists of the uh, late 20th century. He was very skeptical whether they've come around, but remember that this was an older generation who were brought up on the rules of general relativity, classical general relativity, and um, this was all very, very new to them. Okay, it was also new to the young people who invented it, like me, who was, I don't know, I'm not sure how old I was. Uh, I was in my mid-50s, I think, when, uh, with the uh, holographic principle. Um, and I'm probably older than both of them, both are unruled, but nevertheless, I'm young at heart. So uh, I consider myself one of the young people. The young people, it was new to them too, but young people don't have all the baggage of, uh, of long, long life having believed one thing and then suddenly being told to believe something else. So the older generation of relativists, I think, were skeptical and may still be skeptical. Uh, uh, people like Wald and Unruh, I don't know. But barring them, I think it's completely settled. I think it's completely settled. Mm -hmm.